Hey y'all, I'm Danny, and this is Heard. Hi guys, welcome back to Heard the Podcast. I'm your illustrious, wait, Ooh, illustrious. What's the, illustrious is the right word to use, right? I'm your illustrious host, um, Danny, and remember that we are on all podcast streaming platforms, and if you guys are watching right now on YouTube, make sure you hit that subscribe button, that like button, that share button, all those good things. I really appreciate you guys for tuning in. And I'm joined here, of course, J-Rob is behind the mic. Say hi, J-Rob. What's up, y'all? And we have Darius here. We can't see Darius. You, you off camera? The, Are you fine with being off camera? I'm the elusive, yeah. Okay. You could be elusive. Um, yes, elusive. Yeah. What's that mean again? I forgot. <laughs> like, I'm, get away. Yeah, I won't be seen. Okay, like you're like mysterious. Yeah. yeah. You're like like you have like a mystique to you. Yeah. yeah. Like um Batman. I told J Rob one time that you remind me of um Carlton from um Fresh I know, Prince. I, I heard that. But <laughs> you know what I thought about the other day? Oh, so was it Fresh Prince or is it the new Bel Air? No, it's the it's the original Carlton. You remind me of the right. original Carlton. Right. That, how do I keep this how, how do I keep the mic fly. right you here at, right? in this position? Okay, cool, boom. I don't gotta keep yeah. Like Will was the flyest, but Carlton was John Fly, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, I think you just have like the same haircut as him, like the yeah, you know what I'm saying, like the same like yeah. you know you favor him a lot, you know. Uh, <laughs> I like black women. Anyway. Oh go. oh my gosh! No, what, the Carlton on um the Carlton on um the original he didn't date um black women. Not in real life. He had crushes on black girls, right? Not in real life. Oh, yeah. And then the one on oh oh stop shut up you did not have to say that um. <laughs> it's been a while, my bad. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, I honestly, this past week has been very ghetto, and I was like, I need to make sure I make my way to the studio and record an episode because Jesus Christ, it's, it, was, it was just very ghetto this past week. The, the these past six days have been like horrendous, and then it's been horrendous, like in the news, and then horrendous, like in my life. Like I had like a like a little like a little emotional meltdown a few days ago because of like I'm not really like I'm kind of fucking up in my job I'm being really transparent right now like I'm, I've been like fucking up in my job and like I've due to me like fucking up in my job I've gotten like a little bit of anxiety and so I like I hit like a breaking point like emotionally and yeah so I have some days coming up where I have some like off days coming up um for me to be off from my job so I think I really need those days to like regroup and like you know get my mind right because it's been like I've had an emotional meltdown I never had like I've because I've been working at my job for like three years now almost three years now and I never had like I've had like troubles and stuff but like I've never like hit the like emotional like meltdown you know what I mean and I and I hit that a few days ago and I'm like whoa but I'm like bouncing back right now and um I'm trying to keep a positive mind and I think I may need to maybe like look into like some sort of like meditation or something or maybe like some sort of like, I don't know. Do, are you familiar with like meditation? Wait. You know what? I haven't smoked in two weeks. And <laughs> no, I told that myself. Might, that might. No, I'm playing. Y'all. But the I thing is like, I, you, okay, so the thing is like, so I try not. So I'm going to, so I haven't smoked in two weeks and I told myself I wasn't going to smoke until my birthday weekend, which is I'm um, coming up in a couple of weeks. When's your birthday? Um, my birthday is April 17th, but I'm going out to dinner on the 13th. But I'm an Aries. Yes, I am. You, you, oh, you can't you tell. Are, you are bossy. J Rob, you, yeah. you, um, you think I'm bossy? Uh, you try to. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, you're, uh, you're a strong suggestion. <laughs> I have strong suggestions. So strong suggestion. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, but um, and then I think I'm gonna start back smoking again. But I'm gonna make I'm gonna like um you know do it in moderation. Like I'm not gonna smoke during the week. I think I'm just gonna keep this. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna keep the smoking on the weekends. Do you feel like it it uh it robs you of your ambition? Um, actually, smoking actually relaxes me. But with the job that I have, I have to be very attentive and I have to be uh, pay attention to detail. And sometimes I, I may like you know not be as focused as I need to be if I am smoking during the week. You know what I mean? Because some people are get focused with weed, but with me, I don't really get I, weed relaxes me, and I'm like in my own little world. You know what I'm saying? What I'm smoking, hmm. but for sure, yeah. You said what? I said it depends on what I'm smoking, but for mm. sure. What you so? What do you usually do to like focus? Like what kind of weed do you like? You do like oh, a like uh, a okay. sativa? Are we suggesting weed for focus? Um, <laughs> I like. 
I like like Lavender Jones. Or, or okay, like a Lavender Jones. Yeah, okay. Like, check it out. Okay, okay. It gets me motivated. Like, let's go. Yes, but I've been but I've been um doing a lot of wine though. Wine keeps okay. wine relaxes me, but I'm still able to like do what I need to do during the day. But wine still gives me like you know that little bit of a like you know like that little edge that I need, you know. Um, do you, are you like a wine drinker, J. Rob? Jay is a wine. Drinker. Are you? You're like a white wine, aren't you? You're like a light wine. You're like no? a, you're like a red. You're like a, you're a red. I like both. Okay. I like every spectrum. Hmm. I like South African wine. I like oh, look at him trying to act like he's rich. Jay like he's trying. He's trying. He's trying to sound. He's trying to sound tasteful. Yeah, I, I like, like South Jay's African culture. wine. I like. I like. Huh. Yeah, Jay's culture. You know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh. Anywho. <laughs> um. Anyway. Yeah. So there was that. But then. Okay. So I think first the week started off with like. Um, the Diddy home, uh, uh, homeland security um, in, uh, a raid. We'll get into that. So that was crazy. And then, um, you know, um, the we're going to get into the Diddy home land security um, home raid, and then we'll also touch base with the um, unfortunate um, Baltimore Bridge. Um, yeah, yes, but that. before I get into, um, the meat of the show, I want to, um, make some, you know, quick, um, just go across some quick things real quick. Um, just real quick. Um, so they've delayed the filming of Euphoria for like the fifth time. Um, and they're saying like this time it's like indefinitely at this point, just, just hang it up. And cause the thing is like before I, cause it, it, you, are you familiar with Euphoria? You are J Rob, but are you, have yeah, you ever watched yeah, Euphoria like Darius? You watch, you like it? Yeah. I like it too. Um, it's a really, it's actually a really good series. And like when they kept delaying it at first, um, you know, I was like, okay, let them delay it, lay it whatever. Um, Ain't know a lot happened in between that time. Like, you know, the, you know, Angus Cloud, he passed away. Um, That was unfortunate. And, you know, I, I always understood why they still would want to do it because, like, that was a super successful show. And I'm sure that, that it made the network a lot of money. And, like, you know, Zendaya is this huge freaking superstar. So, of course, like, you would still want to, like, keep it on the back burner and still try to, you know, get it out there at some point. But at this point, it's like, damn, like, because that, because like, no, I feel like Euphoria, you know, um, was a is is a great show, was a great show, and I think that you know what came out of Euphoria were new, fresh faces. Like Sydney Sweeney is like a super, like a movie star now. Um, freaking um, Jacob Jacob Ellerdy, I think that's his name. He played Nate Jacobs. Jacob Ellerdy, um, he is a movie star now, and him and Sydney Sweeney um actually um hosted SNL. Um, this year, I think this like the last few months, um, and then you know Alexa Demi, we all love her, and um, Zendaya, she's still booking her movie roles and stuff like that. Who's Alexa Demi? Alexa Demi, she was she played Maddie Perez. She's the the Latina. Gotcha. The one that uh, whacked uh, whacked uh, for for gotcha. fucking her boyfriend. Um, uh, and then who else made? They're like oh, and then um, Coleman Domingo. See, I was you know I. I Coleman Domingo, he um he's been in the game for a while, but um I was never really fam- honestly I'm, I'm sorry I was never really familiar with his work, um until I saw him on Euphoria. Then I started seeing him. You know he was in the color purple and he has other stuff coming out soon. And then you know he's like this like fashion like icon now. So it was like you know so I think a lot of good things came out of that show, um and I see why they would want to keep continuing it. But it's like it's just weird now. Like why do you keep delaying this show? And then also like these people are like these people are like huge stars now so it's like will this even work it's not just zendaya being the star it's like everyone's like a huge star now after the show came out so i don't know how that's going i don't know what do you think of them like keep delaying delaying it i mean it's absolutely understandable um it's a disappointment but yeah why do you think shows like why do you think people delay things coming out like that a million reasons Mm -hmm. i mean one obviously the death uh but I honestly, I didn't think that he would be, I mean, well, I, I don't really know. I, I heard rumors about the direction of the show when it would come back. But like when the show ended, he, he ended up getting arrested. Yeah. So what you're going to do, have, have him locked up the whole time? That's what I'm saying. Like, was he, were you guys planning on ever like still having him on the show anyway? Yeah, I think so. I mean, cause that's the reason why he didn't die. So he could come back, you know? Mm-hmm. But he got locked up on like drug possession and like yeah. other shit too. So it was like, what was I don't know. 
And then, like, when they locked him up, it was, like, a whole shootout. So that's that's more yeah. as added to... I guess you could play it out now, like, he just locked up. Yeah, I don't know what that plan was. Um, it was that, and then... Um, okay, so real quick on this one, too. I don't understand why, you know, these people are... It's, like, a new tour announcement every day of the week, and it's crazy. Like, this past week, it was a new tour every single day. It was the, they, they mentioned freaking Maxwell going on tour, Megan's going on tour, Tank and Carrie Hilson going on tour, um, Janae Aiko is going on tour now, Chris Brown has a tour going on, uh, she's about to have a tour, freaking Nicki Minaj has a tour going on, and then like also like the Beyonce album came out, and I'm like, okay, bitch, what are you going to do? I don't have time for you. You know what I'm saying? It's like a lot. You know, you just never fucking know. You know what I mean? I can't do this. Like, I can't, I literally cannot afford this. A new tour announcement every day is crazy. It's crazy. I didn't do my fucking taxes yet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They, you know, like, they they letting you know about them right before you know, before you get that refund. Like, it's hey, crazy. Send that over here. <laughs> send that over here. <laughs> so like, I bought my Megan tickets though. I'm not gonna lie. So I got my Megan tickets. <laughs> um, and I'm planning on where is she uh, performing at? Um, this um the uh in Baltimore. She gonna be she gonna be in Baltimore. So she went, yeah, mm-hmm, uh-huh, and she goes, she goes, gonna be at the uh, Broccoli City Fest, but I'm not going to that. I don't think I'm going to that. I'm, I'm going to the Baltimore. Broccoli City Fest had a. It was a. Okay. Go ahead. No, what? No. Go ahead. No. <laughs> yeah. What? No, it was. It was interesting lineup. It was an interesting lineup. Right. It was interesting lineup. I knew they were gonna have sexy on there. Did you know they was gonna have gun on there? I suspect. I suspected it. Yeah. Okay. Because they had gun on there two years ago too. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, um, I got my Megan tickets. Why you? Cause it was, was a trash lineup. I, no, I you think it's trash? It's, I'm not going this year. <laughs> <laughs> they actually, they actually haven't got I the. Oh, see Issa. Yeah, they actually um, they haven't at the Audi that the Audi um yeah, Audi field. field yeah this time so there's like a there's a seating option, you know, so that's pretty fun. Uh, um. Yeah, but yeah, I'm, I'm seeing Megan um, in, in in concert by her, on her own concert. I'm gonna see Megan there. Um, so I'm planning. I do want to see. Go see Nick? Here's the thing, right? <laughs> Have you chosen sides? Listen, <laughs> listen. Okay, I'm not. I'm not a weirdo. Okay, I am a grown ass woman, and I am not like it's just like listen. It's a it's, it's a headache seeing people like be weird when every time Nikki has For a sure. beef with somebody, they switch up on that person that she has a that she has a problem with, For and it's sure. every time they do something, it's like oh my gosh, she just want, like it's weird. It's just so fucking weird. But um, so at first, right? At first, before before she came out with the album, before anything, at first I was like, look. I'm going to need to see clips first of her concert before I even think about paying for anything because, like, it's just, like, her like her live performances, like, in the last, like, couple of years have been, like, whoa. Like, it just been, it hasn't really been up to par, in my opinion. I'm like, I'm not paying for this. Like, you don't even, you barely be on stage, and then you barely, and then when you're on stage, you barely don't, like, I don't got time. Like, I don't want to, uh, what is this? What's going on? But I have seen clips, and her, her concerts look beautiful. To Nicki Minaj, her concerts look beautiful. Her outfits are beautiful. Um, nice stage production. Um, I think I don't think I still will buy a ticket. I maybe maybe last minute. I don't know. We'll see. I, I'm, I'm not really planning on it. No, no, no shade. I'm not really planning on it. Um, do you want to go to the next? Are you seeing? Are you like a barb or like what's going on? Am I a barb? Yeah. Are you a barb or? Are you a barb? By no means would I ever <laughs> say <laughs> I'm a barber. I might have a pink shirt on today. You, that's, that's salmon colored. It's not okay, pink. It's salmon. Right. It's salmon. I thought that's salmon. I that's a salmon colored shirt. Clear. It's very Carlton of you. Carlton a, would look, like loves a good salmon colored shirt. Up, like, you know it, I mean? A salmon colored velour shirt. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Well, that's well, that's corduroy. corduroy. A salmon a salmon colored corduroy. Shirt. I love it. I yeah. love the look. I appreciate it. Yeah. So you're not a barb. No. <laughs> okay. Um, so I don't think I'm gonna go see. Maybe, maybe last minute. I don't know. Um, I, I'm not really playing on it. But the concert looks great. Um, I, it looks she the she the um she's been posting clips and stuff like that. I, I love it. It looks beautiful. Um, I do think I want to go see Chris Brown. And I do think I want. Cause so I think I want to go see Chris Brown. So I may get tickets for that. And then also um 85 South show. They're going. They're live and they're going to be um in Baltimore in June, I believe. And I think I'm gonna go see them too. And I also, and then, and so, so, um, Megan in May, Chris Brown is in May, no, Chris, no, Megan is in May, Chris Brown is in June, 
85 South show live is in June as well. And then in July, I have a, a, a trip to Mexico. So it's like I have this vacation that I'm already like planning, go, planning to go to. It's like I can't be concert, concert, to? concert, tour, tour, tour. You right. know what I'm saying? That's too much. That's, I have rent. Yes, black girl. I have Live rent. I have bills. You know what I'm saying? Like, huh? It's just a lot right now. I cannot do this. A tour every day is crazy. That's crazy. Literally a tour every day. The Janae Aiko one, I do want to go see Janae Aiko. Huh? But, like, she has, like, four girls, four people opening for her. I'm like, girl, how long are you going to be on stage? It's going to be Coyle Ray, Tink, um, Kiana Lede, and Umi, I believe their name. And then, and then like it's her. It's a nice lineup, but I'm like, girl, like, you have, like, four openers. You don't want, you don't want a good night? I want to see Janae. Night. You have four openers. That's crazy. She can still do an hour set. But how long are their sets going to be? Where are they playing at? So she's going to be a Capital One. Okay. That's tight for Janae. I don't know. Coyle Ray, um, I, like I feel like Coyle Ray would have been a better fit if she opened it for like Doja Cat or something. Get in where you fit in. I think, Because eh. she's not, she's not, I mean, she has like mellow songs, but like, I don't know. Yeah, it's not the She's very, high. She has, she's very energetic, you know? Maybe she can get the crowd hype, I guess. But then, like, you know, Janae, she's, like, very mellow. Is very, like, you know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe Quilla Ray will, like, change her setup to match with Janae's vibe. I hope she don't. Mm, why? No, you got to shine how you shine. Play your hmm. game, you know? Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. So, I don't know. But I do love Janae. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so yes, um, Glorilla is opening for Megan Thee Stallion, and I love that. I love that, that because they're sense. they're two country ass girls. I love that for Glorilla. That's that's gonna help her. How you feel about Glorilla, Darius? <laughs> what? Oh my god! Because I'm ignorant and <laughs> you can put me on the spot. No, what? What you mean? What? No, I, I like her. I like her. I like her. Nah, nigga, go ahead and say yeah, what you had to say. Nah. <laughs> no. Say what you had to say. No, say it. Yeah, Glenn. I like it. I'm fucking with it. She actually, I'm, I'm glad that she came out. No, what? Say it, Darius. Say it. I have nothing. Say it. Say. Okay, well, fine. Well, I think that I love her Yeah Glow record, and I'm glad that she's gotten back to, because I feel like Yeah Glow feels very authentic to her, because I think for a little while, she was trying to, like, find, like, a, a TikTok hit. You know what I'm saying? And it was coming off, that, coming off that way, and it was just getting weird. I'm like, girl, what is this? Absolutely not. But I'm glad that she came back with Yeah Glow because that's the glow really that I feel like we fell in love with, like we, that we gravitated towards, you know, when she first came out. So I think this that this tour is really good for her. Um, and I think, I don't know, I think, because usually when people open for, like I remember when, remember when, like a long time ago when um, Rihanna had ASAP Rocky open for her? Uh, what, what tour was that? Was that the Diamonds tour or like, what tour was that? What tour had um? What album had cockiness on it? Her song cockiness. What album was that? Yeah, that was um. Was it talk that talk? It was the whatever whatever song I just that. whatever that whatever crazy. album whatever cockiness um whatever album cockiness was on. She had a tour for that, and she had ASAP Rocky open for her. And was it the Diamonds tour? No, 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 it wasn't. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Talk that talk. Talk that talk. Okay, so whatever tour that was for that. Um, so, yeah. So, he ended up doing a, a remix to Cockiness, I guess, to promote the to promote the tour, like, whatever. I think that it would be cool if, like, Megan and Glow, like, if Megan hopped on the Yeah Glow remix or something like that, that would be really cute. And that would help the, that, I think that would help the tour. And I think that would, like, really, like, you know, like, intertwine, you know, their um, brands and things like that. That would be really fucking dope. I love that. I love, like, I love ghetto, trill, country-ass rap. And I love country-ass accents. You know what I mean? What? You looking at? Um, yeah. You know what I mean? What do you think? I like country accents. You do? Yeah, for sure. Like what? We like, like New Orleans? Like, like, like <laughs> Texas? Or like Tennessee? Or like, what you, what, what's it giving? I ain't never heard of Tennessee, Joe. 
Um, I think Lorilla's from Tennessee. Yeah. She's from Memphis. Oh, is she? And um, and um, Money Back Yo from Memphis too. No, I was. I ain't talking about the men. I'm not interested in how they talk. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no disrespect. Um, Put the mic up. My bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, okay, cool. Um, not a, a Texas jump. Yeah, I like I like the Houston Shawnees. They good. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to New Orleans soon too. Oh, you are. Yeah. I was supposed to go to New Orleans this year for my birthday, but ch- change of plans. And then, like, I'm glad I didn't because, like, all these fucking tours come up. Then I have the Mexico trip. It's just too. I can't do this. Where are you going? To I Mexico? can't do this. We're going to um, Cancun. Oh, okay. I've never been to Mexico before, so I'm, I'm excited. Even though it's Cancun, and everyone's in Cancun, I've never been there before. So I'm gonna have. I'm, have, I'm gonna have a great hey, time. It's a girls' trip. You know. Hmm? Don't let nobody knock your experience. Yeah, and it's a girls' trip. And luckily, I, my friends are my real friends, so no one's gonna like. Do anything to me on the trip, or no one's. It's not gonna be no weird shit. I'm not gonna, we're not gonna come back and not be friends anymore. You know, these are my real friends. Thank God. You going to all inclusive? Yes. It can go down in them jumps, and it ain't even like. What you mean? Yeah, yeah them jumps. <laughs> I done. I done been woke up in a cabana one time when they. You know what I mean? What like, you mean? Man, what happened? You just getting turned. Okay. I mean? Passed out. I they love a good. I love a good passing wake, out. Wake me up. I woke up. It was some beets on my chest. Like beat. What do you mean beets? This like girl tried to like feed me a salad, but I was like, "Shorty, I was drunk." How you? I love real. a good pass. Let, let me pass out. That means I'm gonna have a great night. You know what I mean? As long as it's recorded, so I can look back and see what happened. What happened? What I did? <laughs> but I love a good passing. I love a good passing out. Hey, um, I've never. So I never. Um, hey, take that off. I've never gotten. Ju- <laughs> That is some Cosby action right there. What? Yeah, I love a good passing out. Like, like I, I record, love a good, I love a good passing pass out. Record, yeah, record, record me. It. Record me. No, I'm cool. You know what I mean? Record me. It's we're on vacation. <laughs> this is a vacation. Hey, yo. I love a good passing out. I love a good drunk. I love a good nice high and Fast lit. I love a good part. situation. You know what I mean? Um. It sounds like trouble. What? Passing out? No, no. I've never so I've I've never gotten I've never had to throw up after being drunk. Oh. So does that mean that was ever, was I ever drunk if I never thrown if if I ever been drunk if I ever, I've never thrown up? You've been blessed. Blessed. You've been blessed. But that but I've been drunk though, right? Okay. So like the throwing up thing. Why do people throw up when they're drunk? Is it because like is it like liquor poisoning, alcohol poisoning? I guess like. It's gonna be a combination. Okay. But yes, I've never Jay, thrown. Have you ever been drunk? Have you ever been drunk, J. Rob? I, I don't think, think so. I mean, I don't think so. I have to. I have to. I have to, I have to, the thing is, like, I have to like force him to drink wine. So that's why I was like, "Do you even drink wine?" No, I might have been buzzed over wine. I drank a lot of wine one time. You you ain't gonna get that damn drunk over some damn wine. <laughs> one time. <laughs> one time. Drunk over wine is crazy. Shout out to Jay. Anywho, also, um, I wanted to discuss. Um, I wanted to discuss JT is going on like a club tour. She's hitting different. Tours. Remember, I would I would come here and I would like JT doesn't do like she doesn't she doesn't take advantage of her stardom. She doesn't do shit. Look at her. She's doing a tour like she's hitting up clubs and stuff and performing and things like that. Okay. That's great. Hey, that question. is great. Is, is Glow really uh, about her? I heard that they did a almost fight, so I think that is true. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. But I'm glad that she's doing that because I feel like she's doing the groundwork and she's trying to trying to develop a genuine fan base. That is going to be amazing for her. Um, one of my friends, he is actually coming up up to Baltimore. He got tickets for her. Um, he, well, he got he got a table um, for her club appearance in um, Baltimore that she's doing um, and later on in April. He said I can come, so I said great. So I'm gonna go see JT um, in Baltimore at the um, at the I think it's called the Iconic or something like that in Baltimore. So yeah. All right. Fast forward. What? You, you see JT, what you gonna tell her? Nothing. If you can't see, she's not gonna be able to see me. She's gonna, it's gonna be a whole bunch of people in the in club. This instance, you see JT, what you gonna tell her? Nothing. Nothing. It seems like you had a lot of advice for her now. No, I didn't. I didn't. No, I said no. I'm glad. No, no, because the one, the, one of the things I said was like you don't like do something, and she's doing it. Like she's she's doing it. She's going on a, a club tour. Not like it's not like a, a concert. It's like a club tour. She's building a fan base. You know what I'm saying? That's like that's what Nikki did when she first when she first came out. Like she would hit clubs in different cities, and I think that's what she should she should be doing. That's great. That I feel like that's that I I have a lot of respect for that in where's, my. Uh, where's Young Miami? 
<laughs> in litigation, like no. <laughs> wow, <laughs> this plan. Um, we'll get to that. But oh, um, yeah, okay. yeah. So anyway, um, yes, Next. huh? Oh, man. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, so yes, I'm glad I will see JC in Baltimore. I'm happy that she's doing this. Um, she did a song with Dochi. I'll talk about that later on in the show. Um, in our music segment. Um, and then lastly, on our quick things, real quick. Um, Normani. So people was eating up Normani as well because she came out in February announcing. I think it was either January, or February. She came out announcing that she's going to drop an album. Then like a whole month later, they like, and she a whole month later she was quiet. And like we were like, um, hello, like, are you? What are you doing? Like, I mean, what's going on? Like, where's the music, honey? So then, um, she came back out and said, oh, "Okay, I have an announcement tomorrow." And then tomorrow, she was like, "Yeah, tomorrow, hey guys, um, I'm dropping an album next month. I'm not, I'm, I'm dropping a song next month." So it's like, girl, like, <laughs> what's going on? Like, girl, like you, you given two months, you given two months, um, heads up of you dropping an album, then you given a month heads up of you dropping a. It's just, it's like, what's happening here? Like, what's going on? Um, I understand the March situation because Beyonce just came out, so I get it, but it's like, girl, I don't understand what's going on. So hopefully she drops her song in April with Gunna. Some song is it's a song um called I think one five one fifty nine with Gunna is on it, and um hopefully it's I think it's gonna be good. She dropped the snippet. Um, and hopefully more music follows after that. And hopefully her album actually does come out this year. So we'll see. So we're going to wait for that before I like give, before we do a deep dive in her again. I love her. So we're going to, we're going to just put a pin in that for right now. Anywho. Okay. So what? Okay. So, um, anyway, so on to, um, our main focus. Hmm. What you say? I feel like a bad co-host. I apologize. You feel like a bad, bad. no. Be on my shit. No, no, you no, no, no. It's fine. Right. You smoked before you got here, didn't you? Maybe. So Darius wanted me to smoke with him before wow. we hit record, just, and I'm like, why right would I want to smoke before I do the show? So we I can, so I can, for, so I can exactly. forget and right. just like Yo, have a mental delay when I'm trying to like you know be on it. Like, why would I do this? Um. I'm not a rapper. I can't smoke and like drop a hit song. I can't do that. I need to be focused. We just talked about how I can't smoke during the week. You know what I mean? Anyway, um, so <laughs> yes, um, today Saturday, right. huh? Nothing. But I'm still working. I'm, I still have to, you know, make sure that I'm like Cognitive. on it. I understand. Anywho, um, re- um, so I we're going into the main um topics this episode and um. It was really sad what happened with the Baltimore. So the Francis Scott Key Bridge was hit by um, a ship. So what, what do you call those types of ships when they, when they carry oh, freight? A cargo ship. A cargo ship, yes. So um, the cargo ship, I guess there was some sort of like system malfunction where the power went out and they couldn't stop the ship. I don't know what was going on. Some sort of system malfunction with the cargo ship. The cargo ship hit um, the bridge um, and the bridge collapsed. Um, they were only able to save two people and then um, the rest of the people that fell into the water were um, pronounced dead after they tried to do a search. I believe they were saying that it was somewhere around like seven people or something like that I that they like couldn't find. They recovered like two people. I thought that they recovered two people and there was like six others that okay, they yeah. couldn't recover. I'm not sure. Gotcha. Um, but that was very unfortunate. It was very sad. Um, things like that frighten me um because you just never fucking know um and it's just it's just i'm I'm just like you know prayers out to the families um Absolutely. and hopefully the two people that they did um save hopefully um you know they're okay and hopefully that they're you know able to like recover as well from that because that's a traumatic experience like you almost fucking died like you almost fucking like drowned in like a huge body of fucking water you know what i'm saying so Can like that hmm? i cannot I cannot. Sorry. Yeah, so I need to learn how to swim. See? But um yeah, so that is very sad. Um I live in the Baltimore area. I live in Owings Mills. But I live in the Baltimore area and um yeah, so that's just like you, whoa. Did you actually use that bridge? On the I don't remember ever using that bridge like that because that that bridge is around the Dundalk area. Okay. I'm on the Owings Mills area, and I do. I, maybe I'll go like you know 695 or whatever past house, and maybe I'll go around like you know Charles Street downtown in the city, and maybe like you know in Hanover somewhere. Maybe I don't know, but I never. I don't think I've ever like 
If I have, I don't remember. It wasn't a lot of times. I don't remember doing driving on, on the Francis Scott Key Bridge. Um, yes. So um, I, I hit up some people that I knew that lived in the Baltimore area and made sure they were okay. Um, and real quick, though. I do live I do live in Baltimore but like you know I've gotten like you know check-ins and phone calls like the day after it happened asking me if I was like what like <laughs> you salty like it's like your kid wasn't urgent enough mama it's like what like you called me the day after seeing if I'm what okay like what do you mean like you know there was a check-in still made but like the day after and then like checking to see if I was okay was it a phone call I got text messages and phone calls the day after the text I don't know about the text I don't know if they really care you shouldn't count those my grandma called me I have to call her back because I missed the call but she called me and left a message about it the day after I'm like what she called you didn't even call her back to confirm you was alive. Mm-hmm. You wild. Mm-hmm. If I was dead, they would have known. <laughs> you didn't even confirm for her that she was okay. Dang. But the day, oh, you know what really got me? So I talked to, talk to my mom like every other day of the week. But she called me the day after as well. I'm like, what? Like, to see if I'm okay. Like,. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. The day after is crazy. Okay. You know, it was wild to me. Okay. Again, all respect and rest in peace to those people we lost. Very tragic situation. Watching the video. Yes. Right? And you see it hit. That Ding, it dinged it. Yeah. It was like, you ever played, uh, remember, I'm a 90s baby. You remember Mousetrap from back in the day? It was like that shit. Like, it was like, bing. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It collapsed. Was, yeah. yeah. It's wild. But maybe that cargo ship had a lot of power had a lot of power behind it and it was a you know it had to be. That's and then also maybe and also I think I think my sister had mentioned to me, she said that they had shut down that bridge like a like a while ago to do some restructuring because the structuring was off. Oh okay. So maybe it just was you know, I don't know. And then also, um they actually saved some some more they actually saved some lives, um, because before the bridge collapsed Either no no I think either before the bridge collapsed or something like that they um they had um is it coast guards or something or um not coast guards they had the you know um, military officials stop the other cars from crossing that bridge um yeah so yeah and this all happened at one thirty in the morning so that's very unfortunate I you know hopes and pray like you know thoughts and prayers with the families um. And I pray that, you know, no one else has to experience that type of tragedy, you, you know, you know, it's just, it's just so scary to think about, like, the thought of, we all are going to, like, pass away at some point, but the thought of, like, the way you're going to do it and, like, and, like, the, what you experience in, in your last moments, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, the, 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 the cargo ship hit the beam and the bridge collapsed, like, in those moments, like, it's like, whoa, like, you're in the car and the bridge is fucking collapsing, and then you fall into the water. Like these moments are your last moments, and it's like it's leading up to your yeah. transition. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yes. What's the, what? I be having bad time and with shit. What? Um, what's the What's the one way you don't want to go out? I just want it to be. I, I don't want to. I don't want to um, die tragically. I'd rather just die of old age. So I rather just die. Anything tragic, I don't want to have to deal with that. Yeah, I want to die. I want to die of old age. Yeah, for sure. Um, if I die of like a sickness, like if I die of a sickness, I would be okay if I was at an, at an old age where like I'm not healthy enough to recover from it. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to die from anything tragic. I don't want to die from any sort of accident. I don't want to die from any sort of anything, any sort of like murder or anything. Anything. I don't want. I don't want to. I don't want to. My, I don't want my life to be taken from me. I want a transition of old age. Right. What about you? My number one way I don't want to go out. You don't want to suffer. Slip, I don't want to slip and fall in the tub. You like watching? Home, you talking about Final Destination? Gonna, Final Destination? The homie's gonna look at me like, Bruh, Final Destination, really? This nigga slipped on some Olay. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
You know so you want to you don't want to die like what's his face his friend in Final Destination basically, because that's, that's how the boy that's how his friend oh, died um and he died that. in he died in the shower he fell yeah and like yeah crack my head open yeah shit. yeah I make sure I keep a, a mat in you don't you don't want to you don't want to die of a freak accident specifically in the tub like I don't want to slip and fall in the so tub. what's wrong with tubs <laughs> like what I don't know it just seems like a weird way to go out like. He's out here talking all this tough shit and, and your ass slip and fell because you want to fucking you want to fucking yeah you want to play <laughs> you know suds I mean? suds yeah. and shit rubber duckies and shit because you want to because you want to play suds and stuff yeah. hell no um I don't want that to be my legacy anywho well speaking of legacies we want to transition guys speaking of legacies Diddy's is over he's done I don't know maybe he's not I don't know who knows who knows maybe he isn't maybe he isn't I don't know but Homeland Security was like we're not playing with your ass nigga we're gonna raid your motherfucking shit so um, Bro, they raided who else have they done that with huh who else have they done that with what Home, uh, Homeland Security yeah who else what you mean like a rapper anybody Harvey Weinstein Donald Trump any of these people they definitely they they roped up Donald Trump as, with, with something at some point. I can't remember. Raided his house. Donald, Donald, Donald Trump. Donald, don't Donald, Donald Trump was arrested. Him and like other like government that. officials were arrested. No, I get that. I'm just saying they they pressed this nigga. Hard. That mean because they they had they had probable <laughs> cause to do so. <laughs> this nigga kids. Man, yeah, they they um so um the Homeland Security raided um both of Diddy's homes in L. A. and Miami in in one of the homes. Um, his two sons, Christian, Christian, and um, Justin Combs, were there. Um, I, from the looks of it, the police detained them and put them in handcuffs while they while they searched the the, the huge ass mansion. Um, and then Diddy was somewhere I don't know in Miami or some shit, or maybe on a plane, maybe not on a plane. Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> um, he had a bunker. But either way, they said they said that the, they said that one of his houses had like a secret underwater tunnel or some shit like that. It was some crazy hey, ass shit. shit. Um, this whole Diddy shit has been unraveling since um, Cassie said pay up. Hey, um, right. So there's that. So there's a lot going on with that. Um, we're gonna be here all day. If I if I go into specifics, I'm not really going to. You know what's going on, whatever. I just think that it was crazy. Like what? Homeland Security? Oh my God! Whoa! And then they they got your they got your kids cuffed up. That's crazy. Yeah, that's the crazy part. And then you know my, my my mind quickly went to like you know damn that's why Russell Simmons is out out somewhere in Dubai and shit with his legs folded up and he's like you ain't about to get me nigga. Mm 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 mm. But anywho, um, so there's that. That was crazy. Um, And, um, you know, they then, um, you know, of course, you know, while this is going on, Diddy's getting sued left and right with the drug trafficking allegations and, you know, like the the drug allegations and the and the abuse allegations and all types of shit. Um, Carisha's being thrown into it. They said that he was she was one of his sex workers and, you know, whatever. She was transporting like pink coke or some some crazy ass fucking shit. Um, What is pink cocaine? They said it was they said it was coke and Molly mixed together or some okay. shit like that that's crazy um i do want to still try coke but i'm still kind of scared but like uh, you know whatever um huh yeah have you ever done shrooms i did shrooms like once like in college i kind of want to do it again because i'm not really sure if i did it right the first time um and what else yeah so yeah that's crazy and then like you know one of the you know quincy um you know um diddy steps on that he had with with um, that um kim porter's son that she had with Albie Shore, you know, Albie Shore came out was like po- making some like Instagram posts in front of everyone talking about some hey son, my door is always open. Um, your dad, biological, like it was weird. Like why are you? You don't have your son's phone number? That's crazy to me. Um, and then you know the other day, um, Diddy was outside with his two twin daughters. Um, you know, taking them shopping somewhere. I don't know what the fuck he was doing. And then Quincy was there in the car with his stepdad. I don't know. It's a lot going on. These people have so much more money than me. Um, and we'll see how this plays out. Um, and um. Yeah, Diddy, you know, he's no longer a part of Revolt, so there's that. Um, and um, I don't know. I want to say Diddy's career is over, but who knows? Because he's, he's been nasty for, for a lot of years. Um, so the woman, remember remember when um, Shine took his gun charge? So the woman that w- that was shot in the club that w- remember when, because um, J-Lo was a part of that's why J-Lo was like, I'm out, nigga, bye. I'm not fucking with you. Um and and when um when Sean took his gun charge, the woman that was shot came back out and was like, "Did he shot me? I saw him shoot me. He paid off the bouncers. He paid off the security to, for them to turn a blind eye. You know, all these things are coming out. I do think that there's a lot of truths to these situations. 
Um, and we'll just see. Happened? Yeah. So I mean, we'll. I mean, Homeland Security got involved, so it means there's something going on. Um, we'll see how this plays out. Um, Diddy has a lot of money. Um, and with a lot of money, there's a lot of NDAs. Um, and he has a lot of lawsuits as well. well so we'll just see how this all thing, this whole he thing plays out. Huh? So you got a lot of enemies right now. Um, he has a lot of demons yeah. within himself because, you know, I mean, I don't think he's completely innocent. So, oh, no. I mean, yeah. Um, I'm not saying that. So... Future Metro Boomin dropped uh, an, uh, their another collab album. Um, what was it like last week? Yeah, yeah, last week. Um, did you listen to the whole thing? I did. I didn't listen to the whole thing. I listened to some songs. I didn't finish it yet. Um, so far, so good. Um, but what really gagged everybody was the Kendrick Lamar feature on "Like That," where he took sh- like direct shots at Drake. Um, I'm like, oh whoa, this is like I'm, I was just finally like the guys are fighting again because I was tired of the girls <laughs> the guys fighting. Are fighting again. Um, Oh, like, wow. And these are, like, real, like, you know what I'm saying? These are, like, real heavy, like, like hitter rappers. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that, Darius, so you being a man, how do you feel about this? <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. What's weird? With the boys fighting? Yeah, I mean, yeah. And like the, it, I'm shocked. That I'm like, whoa. So, what was the, like, I'm like, so someone, so I didn't even know that Drake and Future fell out. I thought they were BFF. Something like, I guess yeah, it was a, about, about a girl or something uh, like. It was like about a girl. Yeah, it like it's about a girl. That makes that the song. Uh, what will Pluto do? Mm-hmm. Horny as hell. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like, what will Pluto do? Fuck the bitch. So mm-hmm. I did it. Mm-hmm. Like, damn. Okay. Mm-hmm. That man's calculated. He might be the next Diddy. Who? I ain't even gonna say that. Who? No. Future or Drake? Take that off the record as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Who? Future or Drake? <laughs> Well, you know, Future said um, Diddy was weird. He was like, this is a, he's a weird old nigga. Get him, get him away from me. Remember that? I mean, a lot of people said that. Yeah, a lot of people said a lot of people. One video to calling other niggas daddy and shit. Mm. And he said that shit passionately. <laughs> you be like, oh, all right. I believe everything that Cassie said. And you see how when that Cassie shit came out, and then the very next day they, they settled, because <laughs> that shit was real. But go ahead. How do you feel about the Kendrick and the Kendrick and Drake beef in the in the the, the 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 Kendrick verse and all those things? I'm, I'm I'm ready to hear some music. Yeah, you want to hear some back and forth, huh? Yeah, I'm no surprised way. that Drake hasn't um, hasn't hit back yet. It's been like two weeks. Oh, he's calculated. He's, yeah, that's what. Yeah, so uh, there was a clip that came out. Um, there was a clip that came out where Kanye was um doing a drink test interview and he said that um Drake sets up a war like a, like a battle like a war. So he won't come at you right away. He'll like he'll like move down the street from your ex wife. He'll DM he'll DM your 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 wife or your wife's friends or sisters or whatever. He'll he'll like set it Yo, up. Remember that dude who he had like made a comment or some shit about Drake and Drake followed his wife. Oh yeah. Who? <laughs> who? Oh, it was like a year ago or some shit. Who was it? It was like a regular dude. A regular oh, for dude. real? He was clowning on Drake, so Drake followed dude wife and shit. It was like DMing her and shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that nigga's hilarious. <laughs> I remember that shit. So, what do you think? I forgot that um, Kendrick and Drake had like a like a ten year beef. I totally fucking forgot. Yeah, it's the cold but they war. but they've been going back and forth sublimity for a while. So I, I totally yeah. forgot. I was so wrapped up in like in like the girls the girls fighting. I just I didn't I didn't the realize. Um, but like yeah, like what do you think? Like you do you think that Kendrick has some some stuff in the tuck? Like what do you think is going on? Like what do you think? Oh yeah, Kendrick Kendrick uh, uh, a fucking war veteran too. He gonna. He gonna bring it. What do you think Drake is gonna do? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, he's been at his concerts like like saying like little spicy stuff on stage, so I, it oh, definitely it definitely though. got to him though. So he's mad. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Yeah. Cause future, you was cool with future, and then like wasn't Travis Scott at Rolling Loud or something? All hey, hey, things. Metro, play that song, play that song. So it was like you met, so yeah, Travis like met. What's what's turn. what's going? What happened? What did you do? They said pick a side. Metro said, "Pick a side." What happened? <laughs> don't say we don't what happened? You. If your Metro don't trust you, <laughs> I'm gonna shoot you. <laughs> but what happened? Like, why is Travis mad at him? What did he do to Travis? I don't know, I know why Rocky don't like him. But like, what did like? What? I mean, that's obvious. <laughs> uh, they have the same affinity for you. Know what I mean? <laughs> 
so what do you, I mean who do you think like who do you who do you got in this this Drake versus Kendrick thing and then also do you think that um, oh, Jay, you. Like do you, you think that you ain't gotta choose I ain't gotta choose I'm do you think that J. Cole was an innocent bystander do you think that he like, caught a stray like what do you think what, what's going on with that Cole, would y'all like been throwing some subliminals to towards Kendrick? Yeah, yeah. Cole, huh? Well, why you say that? Cole, y'all like been throwing some. What in the in he, knew, what? he already knew in that um first person shooter John it was going it was going set Kendrick off. Mm-hmm. He already knew it was up for debate. So like with the so do you agree that the big three is Drake, Cole, and Kendrick? Yeah. Okay. So you, you, said, you, said, you said you said you said you said yes. Okay. So between the big three, who's one? Who's number one to you? Who's one? Number who's one. two? And who's three? They all hit. No, Darius. Yeah. Drake. Drake is pop. Drake gets everybody. He gets. No, no, no. In the in the in the three in between gonna... between Kendrick Cole and Drake, mm-hmm. who do you? How do you rank them? How do you, Darius, rank them? Yes, apples and oranges. Darius, you're going to each one for he, different things. Darius, you're not gonna with, pa- you're not gonna go to a party with J Cole. That's not what you're gonna do. You can go to a party with Drake. What you mean? You know he gonna bring. What you mean? <laughs> what you mean? Cole got some club shit, some club joints, some club, joints. some party joints, some club joints. Darius, what do you what, rank these niggas? What's the last song you've been like? Oh, Darius, play that J Cole. <laughs> Darius, give it to me. Darius, what do you rank? And Cole these- is a monster as MC, but bro. How do you rank them? Why is it so difficult for you? Just rank them. Just rank them. I don't like it. Just do it. I don't like it. Just do it. I don't like it. Nike. I don't like it. We ain't gotta choose. Just Darius, just do it. Just just give me a ranking. Just just right now at the moment. Okay. Right now at this moment. Right now right now at this moment. What do you how do you rank um the between the three? Like, no, <laughs> Darius, just do it. Why are you being so scary right now? Just do it. Just rank um, right, right now in this moment. Right now in this moment, in this current climate, how do you rank Drake, Kendrick, and Cole? Who's one? Who's two? And who's three? That's hot. Why are you trying to put me on the spot? It's not that. Just do it. Just in this moment, it can change. In this moment, guys, is, is this isn't his like set. This is this isn't his set ranking. <laughs> but right now, I'm in this moment, go just how you said it, Drake, Kendrick, Cole. So Drake is your number one. So you put Drake over Cole and Kendrick for listenability. Yes. Okay, and so you said Drake and then Cole and then Kendrick. I said Kendrick Cole. So Drake, Kendrick, and Cole. Yeah. Okay, that wasn't that hard, right? So okay, you so you can listen to Drake for any any pretty much any type of mood. This mm-hmm. nigga shoots all shots. Mm-hmm. And so why is Kendrick number two for you? Because that nigga goes hard and he make you think. I mean, mm-hmm. Cole make you think too. Mm-hmm. But it's more of a uh, it's more of a laid back kind of vibe with Cole. With with Cole, okay. Yeah, but I you like think that Kendrick is a little bit of like a little bit like he teeters between kind of both a little bit or no? What, what do you think? No. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Okay, was that was it? You feel good about your phone? I feel like you pulling. Teeth I didn't. Right? I didn't pull. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I, I, I'm just excited for this. I'm like, ooh, what's gonna happen here? <laughs> Whoa. Because <laughs> I need a I need a break from the girls fighting. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of Nicki Minaj going after everybody. It's just too much. I'm tired. Like, let the boys fight for a little bit. Um. How do you feel about that Megan that Megan bar that future that future um spit? Like people keep like going back and forth, like trying to interpret it in different ways. Like, what do you think? He meant? I just thought he meant like oh, well, fine ass, some fine tall, a That's big tall, tall fine like, ass. Yeah, yeah, he take him down by the group. Like he can have her about a dozen. Like, mm-hmm. like, yeah. yeah, That's what I thought too. Okay. They, tr- they tried to say he, they was th- he was throwing shade at her or some shit. Like no, that's not shade. That's like so. you like big tall fine bitches, big tall thick fine bitches. Anywho, by the group, <laughs> by the group, um. Yes. So last on my list, and I guess this can transition into the music part of the segment. Um, the long awaited Beyonce Act Two <laughs> Cowboy Carter oh. was released last no well, yesterday. Well Thursday night rather. It was released yesterday. This is Saturday of recording recording. Um I wanted to stay up. Um, and you know, until midnight to do it, I fell asleep, but I woke back up at 2am and I put them headphones on. I, <laughs> I woke back up at 2am. I woke back up and, at 2am and put those fucking headphones on 
and I listened to that whole entire album because I half? wanted to. I wanted yeah. to. Um, hmm? Are you part of the half? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Um, but I'm how not like you, I'm not like crazy. How did you feel about Swarm? I thought it was hilarious. And I thought it was a genius way. I thought it was genius. I thought it was a killer. I thought it was a great idea to um to visualize that. And I think that, but I do think that they that they targeted the wrong fan base. Okay. They should have had something called like the plastics or something, or like or like the. Oh, the, you don't the, like the, the they Barbies did about Beyonce? Well, the, yeah. Okay. Why? They did the wrong fan base. Why is that? Because I think that that intensity. But I mean, I know it was a dramatization or whatever. It was cool, great, but like. That was a traumatization of of the beehive, but that was the reality of the barbs. Like the barbs will will try to kill you. You know what I'm saying? Like literally, like commit murders. Like they're delusional. It's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I don't know any of these fan bases really, so <laughs> so I stay out of the way. But um, yes, I was excited to hear Cowboy Carter because, like, um, you know. It was her. It was her act two. It was her country era, and she mentioned that. Um, you know, she mentioned. You know, a few years ago, I think when the Lemonade album was out, she has a song called "Daddy Lessons" on the Lemonade album, and it has a country a country um vibe to it. And she actually performed that song at the CMT Awards, the Country Music Awards, um, with the Dixie Chicks, and those white country folks did not like that. They did not like that. They were in the audience. There were people in the audience at the award show in the audience saying, "Why is this black bitch up here?" Like saying that shit out loud. Okay. Like it was crazy. People were they were outraged. Those white country folks were outraged. They were like, "How would you feel if we were on the BT Awards?" Like it was crazy. Wow. Like it was like crazy. It was I don't. It wow. was this crazy. So they were mad about that, and they all they all they were already I mean, mad at the Dixie Chicks. Eminem and Mac Miller and and they're all there too. They exist in our space. So. Man, but they, but them country folks don't give a fuck. Them talking about the country, the, the country folks they I don't like. Post Malone. Hmm? I love Post Malone. Me too. You know I mean? Me Jack too. Harlow, Me too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I heard black girls love Jack Harlow. Is that true? Yes. Really? Mm-hmm. I can see why. Okay. Um, I can see why. But um, you know, so yeah, so I think I, I love how she mentioned that. And I love how she took that and ran with it. Um, I, the album was great to me. I enjoyed it. I'm going to ask Darius in one second what he, how you feel about the album. Um, I enjoyed the album. Hmm? Hmm? So you're not going to set me up. No you liked the album. I did like the music. Yeah, what's, what's wrong? I'm not setting you up. No, I like it. Okay. You liked it, yeah. All right, don't, don't send them people to my house. No. Um... Yeah, so I loved how so you know when when Beyonce announced her country album, a lot of different black um, underground country artists came out and was like, oh my gosh, yes, yes, yes. So it shed it shed a light on other black country artists like Raina Roberts, Tanner Adele, um, Willie Jones, oh, um, Shabuzi, yeah. yes, and um, Shabuzi is actually from Virginia, and I did not yeah. know that. And he actually made he actually was on one of the Made in the DV list, and I did not know this at all. Actually, can I make I can make phone calls on here? Um, I'm gonna call Bird real quick. Let me see if I can call her. But yeah, so I love that. Um, and you know, I just I discovered I discovered. Um, I really enjoy Tanner Adele a lot. She's like a country Beyonce. She's beautiful. I think she is gorgeous. Tanner Adele, have you seen her? gorgeous um i love her song buckle bunny um i want to see more from her um but you know she was advocating for herself you know when beyonce came out and was like oh i'm doing country like oh my gosh like she was like oh my gosh like i hope i get to you know um i hope i'm included on this album at some point da 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 you know people were like honey no the album's already done honey it's too late for you honey but then come to find out you know she got the last laugh and she happened to make herself uh, you know she happened to make the album she was on she was on she's on one of her idols projects that's huge for her um Raina Roberts is on there I like the fact that Raina Roberts has my same last name I love that because that's my last name too um anyway um Raina Roberts um and Willie Jones Willie Jones I actually remember watching Willie Jones on X Factor he was on X Factor the same year Fifth Harmony was and I think he's actually real cousins with Normani like blood cousins I think I don't know but he was on X Factor I remember watching him um and I, he was a, he was country on there as well and I'm and I'm really happy that he you know he I'm you know like it's hard being a creative and it's hard following your dreams and I, I know like these young artists right now are like oh my gosh I'm on a Beyonce project I know they feel so much great I know they feel fulfilled at some point I know they I know they feel like if this is not real I worked for this like I love that for them um and I love that I love the duet with Miley Cyrus. Um, I love that she redid the Jolene record. 
with Dolly Parton. I love that. I love how she intertwined, um, you know, because Jolene was about a woman that was trying to take her husband. At one point, um, Beyonce made an album about, you know, Becky with the good hair or whatever the fuck. And then, like, they made that into a thing. I love that. I love I love how Post Malone was on this album, too. That Post Malone song, might, might, that, might, that, might, that might go up. That junk goes. Yeah, and I love that. Too, with Swiss. I love that. I Jones love Swiss. Yeah, mm-hmm, Swiss. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, I love that so much. Let me see something real quick. I'm see. I hate that people know. Damn that. it. And they just call me twice. Hello. Bird. Bird. Okay, so um can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, so you're on um okay, so I'm doing the podcast right now. Um you are on the podcast right now and we're talking about the so beyond you told me that you was gonna fucking curse. Okay. Oh, you you can curse, but like don't say anything too oh, personal. Okay. Um can you hear her, Darius? No, you can't, but okay, but whatever. Anyway, so I can hear you, and you're on the system. So this is the first time I've ever called anyone. So yes, um, you're the okay. first. You're the first caller. So congratulations to you. Right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Any, like, huh? You said what? There he is. You said what? Tell us what she's want. He can't. He can't hear you. She's, Darius, she can't. You gotta speak up, Darius. Can you hear Darius though? I'm old. <laughs> I'm old. Oh, you hear? You hear? You hear? Okay. Uh, <laughs> He's uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Darius talked so she can hear you. I can't hear what she's saying. saying but it's like we got, need a translator. Oh, you so you heard, okay? I got it. You okay, she, she, okay, it. okay. She hear you. Right. Um, yeah. So we're talking about the Beyonce album, and we were talking about Shabuzi. Is I the site says name Shabuzi? I, I, I don't know. Shabuzi. Yes. Um. Yes. So okay. So this is Bird and um made in the DMV. It's her platform and Shabuzi um was um on the okay. So what what list did Shabuzi make for the made in the DMV? And this this um tell everybody you know explain everybody um what the list means and um and how you choose the how you choose how you choose who makes the list and why did you choose Shabuzi and what year did he make the list? Um Shabuzi, he was on our next to blow for the DMV. Um, every year we do a couple of lists showcasing some of the greatest talent, not all, but some of the best talent out of the DMV, mm-hmm. preferably new talent. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been kind of hit through Shibuzi for a couple of years. What's interesting is um, he had a song with a guy named Casino uh, in 2015. So Shibuzi's been around for a long time, but I've been hip mainly because of his peers. Mm-hmm. And they're, like they've told me about him. And he's just different. He has a different sound. So, I mean, I just looked at him and I was like, yo, he's on point. And we put him on the list. And what year was this? Just, I, I didn't know. Uh, that was last year. Oh, that was we a year ago. That was a year ago. We put him on the, on the list. Well, no, last year, December, we put him on the list, but we've mentioned him before. Mm-hmm. Um, So, I mean, but there's a couple of people like, how we get to know some of the people on the list is through their community and through their peers. Like, believe it or not, artists that tell me I think Che Kete, and I'm saying his name wrong, but you know Che. Yeah, Che Kete. He, biggest, on, he was on. He was on her. Um, yeah, Che Kete. Yeah, He was on your podcast. He's one of the biggest uh, referral people. He'd be like, "No, check out this person, mm-hmm. Bird. Check out this person." Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. oftentimes, and there's like other people other than me, other brands, and I'm, I'm trying to really think of who I could give credit to that really talked about a Shabuzi. I can't really think. Like, you know what I'm saying? But there's other people that you may not know, like a, like a Danny, like Danny, her pop has, like she know all her R&B shit <laughs> off the It irritates my nerves. Like, it's like down to the seat. It's other people in this in the DMV that know that too. So, you know what I'm saying? And damn, I wish I could just, that was, uh, like it, it's man, yeah. So, yeah. Basically. So, but briefly explain um, what the Made in DMV is real quick and why you um, wanted to create that platform for the DMV area, just real quick. Uh, made in DMV, we a think tank agency at this point, creative agency for the DMV. You know what I'm saying? Just, um, I originally created this to show people like made, um, you are your environment. You know what I'm saying? Basically, you create your community. So if you some shit, your community going to be some shit. <laughs> it's really about like, for real, it's really about being made. I wanted people to see like, you know what I'm saying? It's people from here that, that come from here that's just like you and I. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, it ain't no, it ain't no different. So like, that's why I made it. I wanted people to tell this story to inspire other people. You know what I'm saying? So that's really what it is. Like, that's so why I since it. It since so since Shabuzi is on two Beyonce songs, two country ass Beyonce songs. Mm. What <laughs> so what do you think 
his future is like looking like now that he's on two Beyonce it's songs. Up. I can't even afford him. I can't even afford him to put him on my list. That's the only thing I can do. Like, fuck it. I can't afford him. We should have, the DMV should have been caught this nigga way. So if he come back in and he want to tax somebody, fuck him. If the price is up. The movie's price is up. Period. I can't even afford to talk about this nigga no more. Man, I'm sorry <laughs> not talk about him at all because he's too expensive. He's too expensive. I, I think about the name and I think money. Like, he is the only DMV. I, I'm already thinking about it. It's scary. It's scary. Uh, he's the only DMV artist technically with a feature with me. Honestly. Yeah, and I'm I surprised that Wale that, don't get a feature with Jay-Z. I remember talking about, I'm like, Wale don't get a feature with Jay-Z yeah, at least? Not yet. Not yet, not yet. Who knows? It might be out there, not right. But at the end of the day, Shabuzi is actually, you know, Beyonce. She trickled around the DMV. She did the Shy Glizzy song. Um, awesome, oh, awesome! You know at, on her show, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But we talk about an actual like it's big. Like this is big. This is huge. So shout out to it, but it's a shout out to independent artists here. Like Shabuzi has truly just worked and worked, and I don't know. Where he got this? This is a hell of a hookup, baby. I don't know. This is <laughs> somebody publishes somebody. I don't know. Yeah, we stayed in his lane. He didn't go out of it. Mm. He's he's true to country. Like he didn't sway because somebody from the DMV told him that's not the DMV sound, mm-hmm. or you know it wasn't popular. Like he comes from an underground background, and all his all of his peers should be able to see that yo this this is what this no matter what never fucking give up mm-hmm. because last next. One year, you can be on Made in the DMV list. And the and next year, you on Beyonce album. Right, yeah, you on Beyonce. Like, my list don't even matter. Right. I know Beyonce wasn't looking at my list. So, you know what I'm saying? But, I'm but saying, no, you, you, mentioned, like, you mentioned him. You mentioned him. And now, it, it, it matters. Your list matters. Because yeah. you you mentioned him. Oh, you yeah, shouted yeah. him out. You, you you recognized him for his talent. Yeah. And then now, he is, he is you know, he's progressing. Um, yeah, we take, we take a lot of time to do our list. You can't pay to be on it. I listen. I listen to everything. No, no payola. No payola. No payola over here. I listen to everything everybody send me. Like, and I hear that. Like, I feel like we got a good ear. I list. They usually come out like we. We put a lot of people on our list first, mm-hmm. and it. And it. We, so our list definitely have impact. But yeah, shout out to Shabu. Do you see that him? Book, that's a hit song. Do you see? Um. Do you see him getting any Grammys next year? Because you know they they finna give they finna, he, they, um, they um, Beyonce about to rack up he, next he year at the Grammy. Have a platinum album. He about to have a platinum album by the end of the week. Okay, <laughs> it might be by Tuesday. <laughs> the people gonna go to East. They gonna go to church listening to this damn woman, and that's a shame. I, I listen to the album three times riding to Glen Burnie. I, I, I'm not coming out of Southeast no more. This shit is too long. I got on one part of the Maryland Highway, and it says sixteen more miles. Sixteen? I'm already gone ten. My car and the gas that's in it, Daddy. No, I'm dead serious. It does not do this. I am. I'm so far fast back to Southeast. I need to be around comfort. I need to be around the ghetto. Glen Burnie was too much out of my comfort. Y'all got Wawa's and Royal you Farms that got actual drinks in it. Take me back to this. Place. Take me back. I got okay. soap. Okay. I have your deodorant is out. I we gotta, to go we gotta, you gotta come to the studio and we gotta have an actual episode because just we gotta talk about this. But, but thank you, bro. I'm, I'm gonna talk to you no later. Problem, All right, bye. Have a good show. You too, bye. Peace. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Do you see? The, it's giving. It's giving. Shabuzi finna get, get some Grammys or something. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Who, yeah, he definitely getting some more collabs though. They was people gonna be calling his phone oh, for to, to, have, to have him collab on some shit. I feel like he might get a he might get a Metro Boomin beat or something. I don't know. So, but Take Keith might fuck it up or something. I don't know. Who who you think? <laughs> who you think? Um, <laughs> uh, what you think? What you think? What you think is coming with Shabuzi? What do you think? Hmm? For real. For real. Yeah, just Virginia, just Timberland, Missy Elliott. Yeah. He just had Beyonce. Why not? Mmm. Mm. So, what are your favorite songs from the album, Darius? I told you I like the uh, Spaghetti Joint. Um, I gotta look at the track list. I don't remember like that. Yes, I love Spaghetti. I love I love Post the Post Malone collab. Yeah, I the, love uh, the Molly the Cyrus duet. Uh, yeah, the Levi's Jeans Jump. Um, I was really I love since so. See, <laughs> do you oh, think the Bodyguard that Jones tight? Mm-hmm. Do you think that Beyonce's finally gonna get Album of the Year? For this album or no? They still wanna they gonna, they gonna play in our face again? <laughs> hey yeah, if they do it dirty again, <laughs> How you feel about the uh the first joint, the American Requiem joint? 
It was cool. It was a nice opener. Okay. Nice opener. I only I only did one sweep through, and I went back to a couple songs, and but I didn't do a full sweep through again. So I, I usually do it, like when it comes to new albums, I do one full sweep through. Then I go back and like look, pick up songs I like. And then I will listen to the album again. I haven't listened to it a second time yet. Oh, the 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 Yaya John is tight. Love it. Oh, River Dance, Tyrant. Mm-hmm. John was tight. Yeah, mm-hmm. I liked it. Mm-hmm. Um, how do you feel about her including um, newer artists? And then also she she actually um, sent flowers to other people in country or other people trying to you know navigate in country. Um, K. Michelle she did a rebrand and she's you know going into the country route. She sent her some flowers. Um, you know she sent some other folks some flowers. Like how do you feel about you know just how do you feel about Beyonce just like shifting? I feel like she always she's been shifting the culture since she's been out, but I feel like she's Absolutely. just shifting. It's just like, like how do you make? Mad at this. They're hmm. like, yo, you know how many black girls are gonna have cowboy boots and hats? And I'm definitely gonna get. I'm gonna get me a little, a little get. I might do a, a, a get up, say, a giddy up at the Megan Thee Stallion don't. concert. Honestly, you already got the silver job, don't you? Mm-mm. I, when I went to Renaissance, I got a, I bought a silver dress and like yeah. some and like some shiny leather patent leather um um gloves. They ain't never if you guys follow me, you'll see the picture. Anything. Until hmm? Beyonce, right? Silver um, owes Beyonce a check. Yeah, I think Beyonce just brings so much joy. Like I said, I had a shit week. I had a really bad week, or like the honestly past two weeks. But like her music, like looking forward to her music and, and her musical experiences, really bring me joy. And I just you know it, it gave me the reset that I needed. Honestly, like. I think she really brings me joy. Nice. And she brings other people joy. So, yes, I love that. Um, so, in other music news, Dochi just dropped a collab with JT. Um, you know, Dochi is very, um, she reminds me of, like, the Zelia Banks type of rap, you know, um, very um, eclectic and um, very, like, it has, like, you know, some different, like, house influences and you know you know um um underground you know ball influences and you know things like that i'm I'm not really sure if i'm explaining this properly guys i'm sorry um dochi in her words she described it as editorial rap which is i think that's pretty accurate um but i love that she had jt on the song and in the video the video is beautiful beautifully shot um i think this this is like again i think this is good for jt i think that jt um has tapped into her like artistic edgy emo hip-hop eclectic vibe since she's been with uzi in my opinion and i think this dochi collab is very much on brand for jt and i think that if jt keeps going and just keeps you know just being ambitious i feel like she could definitely like carve and carve a name for herself um and dochi as well i always thought of dochi as like the the dark-skinned doja cat um but she's her own person, and I enjoy Dochi's music as well. I think that she is very talented, that she's very well-rounded. I think that she's a great rapper. I think that she can sing. I think that she can perform. I think that she can do a lot of things. She's very versatile, so I'm, I'm, I get happy. I'm, I become happy when I see Dochi doing her thing, too, especially as a dark-skinned woman. What do you think about Dochi? I've never heard this song. You haven't heard the song? I'll no. play it for you later. Um, cool. But... But yeah, and then also um, Cardi B dropped a song called Enough a couple weeks ago, and it made it in, in the top 10. Um, I'm just happy that she's dropping music. Oh, and that's the uh, Miami jump, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm just, happy that, I'm just happy that she's dropping music again and just putting it out and just, like, not being afraid. Just do it. Just put the shit out, whether we like it or not. Just put the shit out. It made it, um, it debuted at the top 10 on the Billboard Hot 100, so that was pretty cool. What do you think about it? I like that joint. I, uh, I kind of want her and Nicki to stop making music about each other, though. Like, just give me regular music. Like, Why you say that? Just give me regular dick. I ain't got to Not the Bigfoot jumps. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's no, cool, listen. Me, I'm trying to say Megan cleared her up with the Megan's Law. That's that's what I'm saying. I you weren't here, so you have been here the last few episodes. But I actually am looking. I love the Nikki versus Megan beef because they both be rapping. They both some rapping ass bitches. So Did Megan come back. After the Bigfoot stuff, yeah. no, but I think she will when she releases again. I think she's gonna. I think she's gonna. She's gonna come back. She's gonna come back at her. Again. Oh no, Nikki was talking real tough on that job. She was like, "You got twenty four hours and all this." Because she, because she, because she, because she, she ate her up with the fucking Megan's Law shit. You, you ate her and her whole her whole fucking family up what, with the Megan's I mean, Law. This is it's several twenty four hours after that. Like, what had happened? But why would Megan respond after that? Like after she just dropped a, a new song? Like why would she do that? That that would be dumb of her. No, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, what did Nick? What was Nikki's conversation? What did Nikki have on her? Like, so apparently, she called her ex best friend Kelsey and got tea on her. Her, and then she you know she made some phone calls and got some tea on her or whatever the fuck and um yeah friends 
her ex BFF. Right. But it's like, damn, this bitch was never your fucking. I don't know. I just feel like this bitch, this this girl, this. I mean, that, I don't want to get into it. I'm sorry. I just I can't because we'll be here all day. We won't we'll be here for an hour. I'm just I'm not going to get into that no more. I'm just it is what it is. Um, did you have any music that you wanted to mention? Um, nah, I, forget. I mean, yeah, I forgot. Beyonce album, we Metro Beyonce, Boomin's album. Metro. Um, Sir dropped a new joint. Oh, that was good. I need to get into Sir because isn't he um isn't he D Smoke's brother? Yeah, mm-hmm. it's three of them. I don't know who the other one is. Oh, the, the third one makes right. music too. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh, Tyler dropped her joint. Did you check? Oh, out? I didn't hear her album yet. No, I didn't. Is it good? I haven't checked it out. Yet. I need to check it out. I need to check it out. Damn. You, she, uh, you listen to that Justin Timberlake joint? What? He got an, a new song out? He got a new album out. Oh shit, he do. Yeah. Whoa. He has a um he has a Netflix live performance out and he also did a Tiny Desk that I have not watched yet. And I need to watch his Tiny and I need I need to watch Big Sean's. Oh, Big Sean came out with a new song called what's it called? Precision Precision. We he, we um samples Three Six Mafia's Papa My Collar. How you feel about that? I didn't hear it and it's messed up because the Kendrick shit came out and it, Kendrick yeah, it was a lot. Like, yeah, nah, it's just this, yeah. yeah. Shout out Big Sean. <laughs> they say Big Sean can't ever have a date to himself. <laughs> got him again. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Justin got a new album out. Yeah. I don't understand why they teased In Sync. Like remember when In Sync came out at the VMAs just to come out as an appearance. Like why are you teasing In Sync and not having an album? Well, he in got a song on there with In Sync. Oh, he does. Yeah. Uh, uh, everything I thought it was. Toby's on there. Who? Toby. Oh, okay. I'm looking at it right now. Okay. Yeah. Who is okay? So I see him. In sync. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Um, is, so is the album good? Is Timberland on the album? Like, Timberland what's going on? Definitely on the album. Okay, and it, like, is it like is his album? I mean, it's good. It's, I feel like it's yeah, it's good. I, was I really, I shit. honestly, like, I don't. Um, I don't know. His first two albums for me did it for me. Like his other albums, I, they never they didn't move me the okay. same way his first two albums did. In my opinion, I think on the twenty twenty experience, I think I liked Suit and Tie. And that was about, I don't know, I maybe I need to go back and listen to it again, but like I just, his first two albums just did it for me. And after that, I didn't really get anything else from him that really moved me, honestly. But honestly, his first two albums were enough, you know, in my opinion. But what do you think? I ain't gonna lie, I'm just like late to JT. I mean, I've heard the same, I, I'm hip with the singles, but I ain't never paid attention to this man's albums, to be honest. Oh, wow. So, I mean, You're like a, aren't you in like the music business? I am. That's crazy. So, yeah. Um... So, my lane, yeah. huh? Nothing. Um. So, yeah, I need to watch his tiny desk, and I need to watch Big Sean's tiny desk too. Damn, Big Sean. Well, shit. Did you check it out though? You didn't check it out. His big his, his, his song. Yeah, I'm gonna check it out. Damn, you didn't even check it out at all. What about his tiny desk? You check it out. I mean, it was his future thing. Then Beyonce <laughs> dropped. Like, I'm sorry. It's too much. It's oh my disrespect. God. Anywho. Okay, well, there's that. that. And then um lastly, um my shows, the TV sh- the TV segment. Um so All American is coming back next week, thank God. I need like my teen my teen drama, you know, I need me a teen drama in my life. Um BMF. Okay, That's this the, is the, uh, the football job. Mhm. Okay. BMF. Okay, so BMF is just—I just feel like I, it's just like it has fallen. Like it is just off the rails to me right now. It's—I think this show is ridiculous at this point, but I'm gonna see it through. Um, but it's just like whoa. Like it's just like a lot of things just don't fucking make sense. And like I feel like a lot of things are just—I don't know. I just—I'm not really. I'm not really. I just BMF right now for me. It's just not doing it for me right now. I'm gonna see it through though. But BMF, like what the fuck? That's all. I, that's, what the fuck? That's all I have to say about that. Um. And then the Real Housewives of Potomac. I'm waiting for the reunion. The season ended. The reunion's coming out um, this Sunday, I think. Um, it's getting juicy. I'll talk more about that next episode. I think I'll talk more about the next episode. Um, and any shows? Any shows? Anything with you? No. Nothing. You don't watch TV. You don't watch any movies. Nothing like that. Like nothing. No I movies. Do. No nothing. I, like nothing <laughs> at all. Right do you I have any comfort? Week, do you have any though. comfort shows or anything like that? Nothing. Honestly, um, <laughs> like nothing at Martin all. Living single. That's, oh, that's great. That's <laughs> like, fine. You know, that's fine. Right now, my comfort show is Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I think I'm. Gonna, I think I'm gonna dive back into my wife and kids. Um, I love a good comfort show. Um, after I log out from work, I, I love a good comfort show. Um, I love a good show to fall asleep to. 
Um, so Kirby enthusiasm. I never watched it ever in life. I need to. Uh, maybe should, should I? I don't know. It took me a while to get around to it too, mm-hmm. but it's hilarious. It's hilarious, it's like, really. If you like Seinfeld, you gonna love this. I show. never watched Seinfeld. Nineties kid, man. I'm a nineties kid too. I never watched Seinfeld. I watched the nanny and shit. You did you watch the nanny? You watched the nanny. Mm-hmm. Okay. I watched the nanny. I, I, was, I used to watch. I watched Charmed. Did you see how like that whole thing with uh, the nanny and Regine, like their fits? Like yeah, like somebody's stylist was stealing because if you look at it, <laughs> they was wearing the same things. No bullshit. Okay. Well, anywho, well, that's all for me. Anything you want you want to um, you want to say before before we um, we hit the the off button here. Did you enjoy yourself? I did. It was fun. You sure? It was fun. I thought we was going to have a spread. Last time you said I didn't show up, we had food. First of all, we never had food again. I just never know because like you're so flaky. It's like, damn, I don't wow. I never know. But we had a blast with Hip Hop Chicken. Like, remember that? They, like it's, they put crack in that shit. Okay? It's crazy. Was it like um the Who Clones Tyrone Chicken? I never I haven't watched that movie yet. Wow. I need to watch it. All right. I need to watch that movie. Is, it, is that a good movie? It was good. It's good? It was good. I need to watch it. Yeah. Anywho, you supposed to be on these these topics, you know? What you mean? On what topics? I've been on it this whole episode. What you mean? What you talking about? You don't want to act and scare. You want you want to you want to you too scared to say Kendrick and Cole and shit. Like what the fuck? Like you too scared to say that? Scared. You were scared to say what songs like on the damn Beyonce album. You just acting real scary this whole episode. I can't remember they came out yesterday. You couldn't you couldn't tell me your top. You couldn't tell me who ranked what in between Kendrick Cole and Drake. Cause I'm trying I had to, to I had to ask you to, I had to sit here for five ten minutes and get you to finally say some shit. It was like this is a hard choice. Like, right. anywho, J Rock, you know, do you have anything? Beyonce's your queen. I can't. Yeah. You know. I'm not like a a mindless stand. I I enjoy her 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 work. I'm not like a mindless like I'm not like crazy. But you know. Anywho, well, thank you again for um, listening to her the podcast. If you're on YouTube, make sure you guys like hit that like button, that share button, and that subscribe button. Thank you for listening, and um, we are available on all podcast streaming platforms. I'm your host, Danny. Make sure you guys follow me, um, or us at on Twitter and Instagram at her the podcast H E R D the podcast. Heard. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. H E R what? Heard. <laughs> heard. You heard me. Um, make sure you know on YouTube. Type me in H E R apostrophe D the podcast. Hit that subscribe button. Do it. I know you want to. Bye. Bye.